Hey guys, welcome back. So in Kansas City right now, all done here. Uh, for now, at least I, I gotta hit the road, gotta get going. I wanna see New York. I can't be spending too much time in one place or too much money along the way. Otherwise I'll get to New York and not have any money or have to go work instead of going to New York. Gonna hit the road. Headed towards St. Louis today. It's a little over a three hour drive from here. Excited for it. There's a couple cool things I wanna do there and share with you guys. So stay tuned for the rest of the video and check out my trip from Kansas City to St. Louis. See ya. of St. Louis is here at the zoo. Check out all these cool animals I'm about to see. that said uh, world's best zoo or America's best zoo, something like that earlier. And I was like, oh, whatever. All I've done is gone through one little exhibit so far and it is seriously so cool already. And this place looks massive. And I think I underestimated how much time I would need to be here thinking I'd have enough time with two and a half hours. Gonna see if I can make it work. And if not, I always just come back because this place is pretty cool. <music>
got done here at the zoo took the full two and a half hours it's now closing time i had a blast here can't imagine a more fun zoo had so much fun going through seeing everything uh, my favorite part was the sea lions going through the little underground underwater tunnel they put on quite the show so much so that i bought this magnet uh, so I buy magnets everywhere I go that I love and want to remember. One day on my fridge, I'll have a, a ton of stuff. So can't recommend this place enough. If you're ever, ever in this area, please come here. All right, continuing on from the St. Louis Zoo, just real close here is the St. Louis Art Museum. Also, something for you to do. Basically, I Googled to do in St. Louis as I want to stay on a budget. This was one of them, why not check it out because it was basically the same parking lot. It is beautiful here. I wasn't expecting that uh, for St. Louis. So far, so good. All right, psych, I'm kidding. It's closed on Mondays. So maybe I'll just have to come back here again before I head out. stopped at White Castle. We don't have those up in Washington, at least that I know of. Sounded like it'd be kind of good to have tonight. That's all right. I like how soft the bread is and the onions. The onions taste good. I like it. I had fries also. Their fries aren't that good. Burgers are okay. For a dollar nineteen, I think it was, per slider. That's not bad. I'm going to try to keep you guys more informed, I guess of the different things and not just all the good stuff. Yeah, I'm here for the night. I found my spot. It's a Cracker Barrel Cracker Barrel parking lot. They're uh, notorious for letting people camp in the parking lots with no problem. So there's the Cracker Barrel. Here I am. Here's my van. This is where I'm gonna sleep for the night. Wake up, there's an Anytime Fitness real close to here and I'll go shower in the morning and get my day going. Good night. Hey, good morning. Kind of funny that last night I said something about showing the not so glamorous things probably should have shown you at 4 30 what was going on trash man was out 
driving his big old truck and there's a bunch of trash cans kind of all around and it was a very noisy process. I was up for about an hour from maybe 4.30 to 5.30 or so this morning, a little bit earlier than I wanted to be up. Uh, sacrifices I guess I make is my sleep sometimes, uh, sleeping in the city and wanting to see the city. It's definitely a contrast to being out in the nature, hearing nothing but birds chirp. I'm gonna go wake up, get a shower. So that's the uh, positive about being in a city for me is that there's always gonna be a shower. Uh, there's anytime fitness just about everywhere. Made it to anytime fitness. I figured maybe I'll show you this process too. So yeah, what's really cool about Anytime Fitness is that you always have your own personal little bathroom with a shower. It's not like a typical gym. I have my own little privacy here and take my time and not deal with other people. All right, so we're back. Uh, I haven't recorded since the bathroom yesterday. Uh, and after that, I kind of took the day off. I had been uh, up and at them for a couple days straight of a bunch of driving and walking around and wanting to get my body some rest. So took care of myself that way. Was trying to edit a video on my laptop, which is from around 2013, I believe. So I'm working with something 10 years behind. Had an issue with trying to render some files. So went and bought a new external hard drive today to fix that problem. So I'm just gonna run my editing off the external hard drive so my laptop doesn't get burnt out and not be able to process footage and not be able to edit videos. Anyways, today I am back in St. Louis. I'm at the art museum right now. Hopefully it's open today. From there, I'm gonna go to the Arch, check that out. I went there at night a couple days ago, but it was closed to go inside and learn about it all. So I'm gonna do that. And then after that is the St. Louis Cardinals game tonight, which I'm excited for because Shohei Otani of the Angels is going to be pitching. He's pretty good. I'm gonna show you all that and I uh, hope you enjoy. Oh my gosh, it's open. Person, but there was some incredible work in there that I was just mind blown by. 150 years old, whatever, how many ever centuries years old. Another free thing crossed off the list in St. Louis, and I can't believe that was free as well. Now onto the arch. Let's go check that out. All right, well, here's to open. My car doesn't get broken into. Down here by the stadium and the arch. Found free parking on my own without any app or anything, so that was cool. But it's also kind of a sketchy neighborhood. See how it goes after a bit. When I get back here late at night after the game at like 10, 11 o'clock, hopefully it's still here and everything's good. done at the arch pretty cool experience inside to see how it was all built and time frame and all of that decided to opt to not go to the top just because it was $14 and about to head to the baseball game which is the same price and I just figured in lieu of saving money I'll just watch the little video of it and see what it looks like from up top I'm gonna head to the uh, baseball game now Hi there. Hey. May I get the cheapest ticket available? $10. I'll take it. 
10 bucks, that is a good deal. Just need one? Yes. Wah, wah, wah. I'm just kidding. Ticket is secured for only $10. Incredible, it's a great night for a ball game. It's cheaper than going up into the arch for 10 minutes max at the top. Excited for tonight to watch some baseball. Excited to watch Shohei Otani dominate, hopefully. No, I don't want them to. I'm a Mariners fan, so hopefully they lose. Yeah, but it's time. Figured I'd get food outside, uh, knowing that it's gonna be cheaper. I asked around to employees if there's anything special inside for food specific to St. Louis, and they all said no. Went with what I found outside, a St. Louis dog, which sounded pretty good. Check it out. St. Louis dog is apparently melted cheddar cheese and bacon with the hot dog. Sure, they're pretty good. Hey, just left the stadium about sixth or seventh inning and kept yawning. Just tired. I haven't been sleeping well at the Cracker Barrel. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find a different spot here tonight. See how that goes. Had a great time here tonight. Beautiful stadium. It was a beautiful night for the ball game. Shohei Otani didn't play all that great. He was definitely not pitching his best. Probably his worst start of the year so far, uh, of course. Had a great time. Glad I came. 10 bucks. Can't beat it. I have parked where I'm at. Now walking here in the dark makes me feel like I probably shouldn't. Fingers crossed that my van is still all in one piece. This is a little ghetto. I'm almost there. Good news, he's all in one piece. Hi Raymond. Oh, it was debatable, but he's in one piece. Remember when I said that I was gonna find a spot for the night? Well, I did, and it's two states over. Deciding tonight, it's about 10 o'clock at night. I don't usually drive this late at night. Got a little antsy, I'm thinking, I wanna go somewhere new. So, gonna get out of St. Louis, spent my two or three days here. I'm gonna cross over into Illinois, eventually get into Indiana as well. My spot's about two and a half hour drive from here. Not sure if I'm gonna make it all the way, but there's plenty of spots along the way, like a Walmart, or rest stops, Cracker Barrels, all that. So see how far I can make it tonight, but just wanted to get going and maybe I can show you along the way. Good morning from Indiana. So yeah, I made the two and a half hour drive last night. It was a breeze, glad I did it. And yeah, this is the outro. Thanks for watching my St. Louis video. I'll be putting out videos more and more often. I'll get better and better at them. If you could, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, you know, like it or comment on it, or share it with somebody you think might enjoy my travels along the road. Really appreciate it, go a long way. Sorry if this was a long one, but had a lot of stuff I wanted to share and take care.